guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna only be using black owned makeup brands and some of these brands you may have seen on my channel before because i use them very frequently some of them are new i haven't even tried them out yet but i just wanted to highlight these five brands um some of them are already well known some of them might not be as known as the others so let's get into it so the five brands that i'm going to be using are my favorite fenty beauty y'all know how i feel about fenty um which was started by of course miss rihanna um the second brand i'm going to be using is juvia's place the third is colored rain the fourth is beauty bakery and the fifth is the crayon case so go ahead and get into it um so so far i have my eyebrows on which was the fenty beauty mvp brow in the shade dark brown um i just went ahead and did my eyebrows because i cannot talk and do my eyebrows at the same time i have the attention span of a fish and i can't focus so eyebrows are on and i've also done primer and foundation don't mind my um foundation bottle i broke the top off so there's that anyway so yes i have my primer and my foundation on already so um if you're looking for names and shades of things i will be linking them down in the description below so without further ado let's get started foundation on i'm gonna go ahead and you know do my concealer and contour so for concealer and contour i'm gonna be using juvia's place i have four shades here two concealers two contour sticks let's see i'm gonna use the more golden one this one looks like i've used it already so i'll stick to that one and as for the concealer i have the shades 15 and 18 so actually juvia's place they have a whole line of base products including foundation which i have as well but i just didn't use it for the video because i have my summer shade and i don't have my winter shade but anyways so juvia's place the way that their products are numbered are the darkest colors are first and the lighter colors are last so i have numbers 15 and 18 for the concealers so 15 is actually darker than 18 so i'm most likely going to be using 15 let me shake it up a little bit okay so this has a nice applicator it's real thick period and i'm going to add some to the center of my forehead center of my chin so I'm just going to add a little bit right here and then some out here. And if you hear any chit chat in the background, that is my family watching Brazilian Big Brother. It's getting real intense. So if you hear some, some yelling and screaming and whatever else is going on over there, that's who that is. I'm gonna grab my sponge which is already pre-wet and look at how chunky it is so this is a colored rain sponge so no they don't only have eyeshadows they have sponges they have brushes they have a whole line of products so for each um, brand that I've named so far go check out their stuff because they really have some nice quality things blend out my contour using the booty of the sponge use that same part of the back of the sponge where it's still a little bit clean but you know just a little bit muddy and i'm going to take some of the banana powder put it in the cap and i'm just going to dip some in here and then with that flat edge of the brush i'm going to tap some and i'm going to drag it underneath where i contoured out Of 
Okay, so while that powder is doing what it's supposed to do and defining my face, I'm gonna show y'all my shirt real quick. So let me dust off the powder. The shirt that I'm wearing is a shirt by also a black owned business. It says Criolla and let me just angle the camera down. So it says Criolla and it, let me see if I can read backwards. It says noun and Criolla is an, an undefinable woman of Cape Verdean descent, period. So this shirt is also from a black owned business, which I will tag in the description below. Um, I'll tag the website and I'll tag their Instagram. So yes, I love this shirt. My best friend got it for me. So now I'm going to um, dust off this powder before it sits for too long. So I'm just gonna grab the butt of the sponge and just kind of dust it away. For the highlighter brush and contour, I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. So this is the contour, this is the blush, and this is the highlight. And I just love their packaging. Like, they are just so cute. Beauty Bakery is one of the brands that does actually have like, you know, foundations, concealer, pretty much anything that you could possibly need. Look at the back, it literally says, let me move my big head so y'all can see it. It says nutrition facts, like how cute is that? So let me open it up so y'all can see. Oops, how pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the bronzer. Then I'm gonna add the nice orange blush. Y'all know how I feel about my orange blushes. And then I'm gonna add some of this gorgeous gold highlight. So let's get into it. Okay, tread lightly because this stuff is pigmented. Okay, so now that everything is in set, everything is in place, my base is all good to go. Um, I just set my face with the Fenty Beauty setting spray. I love this spray, it's a nice little mist. And it smells really good. I love things that smell good, even if it's going on my face. Anyways, so I'm just gonna fan with my eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I'm actually gonna be doing using two palettes. So I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Nubian Two Palette, and I'm also gonna be using the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. So let me just open these up for y'all and show y'all what it look like. This is the Juvia's Place. I'm kind of feeling like a royal blue look. So I'm going to be using this color for sure and then a few other ones and then I'll also be using some of the stuff in here. This is just just super pretty, especially the, the glitters like you just can't go wrong with with these two brands for eyeshadow like I love them. So for the last brand that I haven't mentioned yet, I have shown y'all Fenty, I've shown y'all Juvia's Place colored rain and beauty bakery so last but not least this is the crayon case so i'm going to be using their brushes for my eyeshadow and when it comes to certain brands like packaging is really what gets me like if it wasn't for the packaging i probably wouldn't own as much makeup as i do but when i see cute things like these i just have to get them so this is like this is obviously obviously their eyeshadow brushes but this looks like a paintbrush like something i would paint on a canvas with and this is the pencil in your shadow so when i pull them up the package they look like actual pencils like how freaking cute is that i have literally been waiting and haven't touched these just for the sake of this video so i really hope you like this video the first thing i'm gonna do you know the drill i'm going to start with a transition shade so i'm going to be using this one i'm gonna grab a fluffy blending brush and it just says blending brush so the crayon case um brushes say what kind of brush they are on there which is very very helpful so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my transition shade and this brush is really soft like some brushes like i feel like it's poking my eyeball out and it's like really rough on the skin, but this is super soft. 
So next, I'm gonna grab another brush and normally I like to recycle my brushes, but because I want to use as many of these cute brushes as possible, I'm gonna grab another one. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette and I'm going to grab this darker shade right here called Matriarch. So the first shade that I used in the Nubian 2 palette is called Madagascar. This is called Matriarch. So this is gonna go right into my crease to deepen it before I add my crease color, which is gonna be that really, really deep royal blue. Oh, also I grabbed a flat brush. This is in the sh this is a small cream blush. Well, I'm not using it for cream, I'm using it for shadow, so. But I'm actually going to use this like turquoise color called Jungle and let's see how it looks. So I'm going to do my liner real quick, shake it up. And then after I do my liner, I'm going to do my inner corner and then pop on some lashes. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara, which is also Fenty Beauty in the shade Cousin Black, as well as the eyeliner, which is also in the shade Cousin Black, which I think is very appropriate for Black History Month. All right, so eyeliner is done. Mascara is also on, so I am all set for lashes, but before we do that, I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is to pop on it in a corner. So I'm gonna be using the shade Lioness in the Safari Rain palette. All right, so last few steps, lashes and lips. So for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Colored Rain Lashes and i don't know the exact name on it it says cr32 so i'm gonna see if i look it up on the website what pops up and i will link it down below and these are super dramatic and super pretty so let's do it okay so last but not least i'm going to be using a Beauty Bakery lipstick and Fenty Beauty gloss. I'm just gonna pop this right on top of the lipstick. So this is the Lip Whip Beauty Bakery lipstick and I've heard a lot of good reviews about this lipstick. This is in the shade Chocolate for Breakfast. I love a good brown lip with a blue eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything in here is mixed and I'm gonna apply this directly to my lips. Ooh, that is really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the Fenty Beauty Gloss right on top. This is in Hot Chocolate. And that is it, we're done. So this is my you know fun creative look using only black owned makeup brands i love how this look came out um all of these brands have a special place in my heart because um i just love the fact that i can find some quality products within brands that are created for people like me so it just makes me happy to see um brands putting in effort to making sure that not only that they're putting out like really really good quality products but inclusive products so when I walk into a makeup store, I don't have to worry about not finding my shade, which has been an issue in the past. So anyways, with that being said, my camera is about to die. I will be um, writing all of the products that I use in the description box below. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the rest of Black History Month. Bye y'all, see you on the next video.